Okay, Martin, MK Dons a victory on Tuesday evening, very different from the team that had that great score line against Nice. What can we expect to see tomorrow in terms of your lineup? Of course, we had uh, more than 20 players, so we played uh, two teams. Uh, we played a very strong team against Nice and then against the Dons with five, six uh, experienced players, senior players, uh, mixed with youngsters. So, uh, Tomorrow we will play with a, a very strong team, and it will be on and about the same, uh, the same team as we expect to play next week. Steve Sidwell played 90 minutes. He looked as though he fully recovered. Is that how you see it? Is his progress good in terms of his injury? I think he's back. He's back in business. He, he looks good. He's, uh, he's he's stronger. Of course, it was an operation, and he was out for months. But I wouldn't say he's 100% uh, fit yet, but he is uh, 90%. And Hugo Rodriguez getting a goal, I know you wanted to take him off, but he didn't want to come off. You must have been pleased with the goal at least. I was pleased with the goal he scored. Uh, he's a versatile player, he's quick, he can stretch defence, he can play on the left, he can play on top, he can play as a second striker. Uh, the only thing is with uh, Hugo uh, that he's injured again, so we have to assess him tomorrow morning and then hopefully he could be... Uh, ready to play 45 minutes, but we are not 100% uh, uh, certain on that, so he will possibly not be involved tomorrow and that could be a problem for next week. And Aaron Hughes also, he is suffering with a, a slight injury currently. Yeah, he had an ankle injury, so that was a, a blow and uh, hopefully, because they told me that he's a quick healer, so that is good, you know, at that age and hopefully he's back Wednesday, Thursday and uh, to train and hopefully I can evolve him against Norwich. So the team that you put out tomorrow is going to be far more likely to be the team that would be seen against Norwich in a week's time? Yeah, I'm always a bit uh, hesitant to tell you the team because uh, firstly there's an international a week, they play three days before we start the league yes. and that is all for again. So there will be a lot of players going to their countries and hopefully uh, they come back fit and sound to play for us, but if that is not the case, you know, for me it's always difficult to talk about the team for next week, because you never know, it's uh, again a schedule we don't want, but they play their friendly matches again. It's the same old story, last year it was uh, in the, in the, in the, on the Wednesday between two matches and now they thought, you know, to change that and to play three days before the league starts. So it's not easy to tell, but uh, of course we've got seven or eight players on international duty. Nathan Petric has scored in every game apart from the first game when there were, were no goals. Um, you must be delighted with that. I know pre-season isn't always a barometer for, for Premier League, but certainly he seems to have made an impact. Yeah, and that is what I expected. That is probably more of a reason that I'm very happy with him. and. Uh, I was happy with him when I worked with him and I'm very happy with uh, Mladen Petric because he was probably even better than I thought. And Brian Ruiz seems to be on fire at the moment. He's played very well in pre-season and fully recovered now from his injury. Again, uh, I don't want to be too soon with my uh, judgement. Uh, he was one of our best players. He, was very, he looked very fit, but he comes back Friday. and. Uh, we tried to do something with the medical staff of, of his country, but it was impossible. They need him because he didn't play for them for months, so that is another thing. And it's always uh, difficult to focus on the next match because of these sort of uh, schedules and programs. So hopefully Moussa Dembele, Diara, all these, uh, Bayer Ruiz. Luckily enough, Petric is not playing for Croatia anymore, so he's the, uh, what I know now is that Petric, you know, he's a steady factor in our squad and that is that is uh, pretty pretty good to know. I'm playing in an empty stadium tomorrow, more, more like a training game than a football match. Does that make it more difficult in terms of preparation or is it very much? No, we made that uh, decision ourselves. We could have gone to abroad to play a game, but I thought it was better to stay in London because all the games we played were in Germany and in France and uh, against MK Dons, but that was not probably the first 11, so it is good to play in our own stadium. The only disadvantage is that uh, we couldn't uh, play for our crowd, and that is what you always want, one week before the league starts, play in your own, uh, in your own stadium. But because of the Olympics, there was not enough police available, so we couldn't do that, so we had to go abroad, so then that is why we made the decision to play uh, behind closed doors.
We wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.